Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how the secure document request works with the new secure email sharing feature. So this will let you request a document from anyone who has an email address. So the first thing we're going to want to do is sign into the client track portal. Once signed in, we're going to want to navigate to the send secure email and files page. From here, you may or may not have any emails, but we're just going to send a new email. We're just going to send it to whoever we are choosing to send it to. So I have a temporary email address here that I would like to send it to. And then we're going to set the subject. So that, and then we're going to change the email type off of secure send to secure document request. Um, all the difference is, is that secure document request will allow the client to upload documents, um, but we still are able to send documents to them. We're going to want to set a password and then confirm that password. And then set a hint. Uh, the reason we need to set a hint for the password is because uh, we're doing it like an e-transfer type method that uh, they need to essentially figure out the password from the hint. Uh, we want to see how long we want this link to expire. So zero days is how long I want it to expire in, which means it will never expire. Um, all that happens when it does expire is that your files are not deleted. You still have access to them, but they will not have access to the link in order to either download or upload the files anymore. And then you're going to want to type in your email into this large field here. So then I'm just saying, hello, I need some documents. And I actually want to send them documents along with the fact that I need documents. So I'm just going to send them two files. And then I'm going to go ahead and click send. So this should now process and encrypt my files. And then once it's done that, it has send to the documents. So I can go back to my email here. And in a few moments, I will get the email. Okay, so now that the email has come in, I can see the subject in the subject line and who it was verified from. And I just have a nice button that says view your email. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And once I've clicked that, it launches a new tab that uh, will allow me to verify the email. So all they have to do now is enter the password that you have entered. They should hopefully be able to figure this out from the hint and then go ahead and click unlock. Once they've done that, they can see the email. So they can see who it was sent by, the subject, and then the body. Um, they can also see what files you've attached if you happen to have attached them. So I can see, okay, there's two files that have been attached to it. And then they can go ahead and they can actually add their own file. So I'm just going to upload a file here. And then once that's uploaded, they will be told that it's uploaded by a check mark. And now I can see, okay, uploaded through a secure file request. Here's my file. So a cool feature of this is going back to what you will see is now if I sort by the date sent. I can see, okay, here's my most recent document. I'm just going to go ahead and refresh this page. And now I can see, okay, that uh, it's been viewed. And if I go to view that, I can see I've received a file. Another thing that happens is if you verified your email address, when you receive a file, you actually get an email to that email address. So you're notified almost immediately once uh, your client's uploaded a file. Another place you can find the files if the email has expired would be in the emailed files folder. Um, and then each email is a new folder. So I believe this is who I was sending it to. And then you can see if you've received a file, if you sent a file, so I'm gonna go received. Uh, and then the subject is the folder. And now I can see all the files that I've received or all the documents I've sent with sorted by subject. Uh, this is just another place you can see your files. And that's how the secure document sharing works. Um, I hope you enjoyed these two videos. And if you have any questions, Feel free to email me at eric at clienttrack.ca. Thank you. Bye.